plaintiff, Cynthia Davis, was married to the defendant's brother before he passed away. And the defendant is currently married to Cynthia's sister. Cynthia suspects that the defendant beats her sister. And she's suing because the defendant spread rumors that Cynthia has AIDS. Defendant Russell Collins insists he has never laid a finger on his wife, who was with him in court today. And he believes Cynthia does have AIDS because his brother died from the disease. All right, start with you, ma'am. I've been knowing Russell Collins for over 20 some years. Um, we were friends. Russell had a crush on me once upon a time, and I told him I wasn't interested, mm -hmm. but I did have someone for him, which was my sister, Benita Collins is my sister. Um, that wasn't that was nice of you. I know, but that was the worst mistake of my life. <laughs> that was the worst mistake of my life. Jeff. You can't be with me. You're not good enough for me, but uh, <laughs> it's my sister over here. <laughs> Go ahead. Yes, and I wish I never have. Russell is very, has a very bad temper, attitude. I have witnessed him tearing up houses, throwing, breaking cabinets. And me and my family do believe that my sister is blind in one eye. And we do believe that's caused by Russell. Uh, I was married to Russell's brother, Clyde L. Collins, um, which is deceased right now. And um, he went to the doctor with my sister when she had the surgery and the doctor told her it came from a real hard blow. Mm. This is what he told us. Um, I love my sister and um, this is my husband and I will never let my husband do or say anything to you like this. What Wish no saying, death or anything. Ma'am, 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 what are you saying? Say anything. Um, Russell Collins has, um, this all came about, my nephew was on Facebook. Me and my nephew was talking. Mm -hmm. Him and his wife was going through a divorce. He cheated on his wife. Mm -hmm. He had uh, put up a statement that asking people for opinions on that. I commented on it. Mm -hmm. And um, it, my nephew had a few words. He didn't like what I said, which I was telling him he was wrong. Mm -hmm. we, we came to a conclusion. We deleted each other. It was all over. Mm -hmm. I wake up one morning to text messages from Russell, texting me, telling me that if I don't stop messing with his wife and his son, that he was going to spread rumors around about me, which he did. He spread text me about 20 times telling me I had AIDS. I was going to die. And um, he, te he called my mother. He called my, sis, my daughter and told her to have my grandkids tested. He called, texted my nephew. He told my kids. He told my husband all of this that I had AIDS. Sir? Judge Mathis. Wow. This is incredible. Um, it is. Nothing she says is true. And if I can give you some character on Cynthia. Can you never made any of these allegations? No, sir. Oh, no, I have papers. And if I can give you any character on Cynthia, Judge Mathis, she has worked the system all her life. She's on welfare, living in a Section 8 house. She, she has children that were like 13, 14 years old that she brought her own friends into the house and they were pregnant by her. My wife, I've never put my hands on. She went to a specialist that uh, worked on Anita Baker's eye. She has a detached retina. In her other eye, she has holes in her retina. So I've never harmed my wife. There's no police reports out there for that. I've never spoken to her husband or anybody. But in the same what token, did you want to say? I bring my wife up. State your name. <laughs> I'm his wife, Benita What do you want to say? State your name. Benita Collins. What do you want to tell me? Yes, everything that my sister is saying is so untrue. Judge okay, Mathis. good enough. I That's enough. A, I believe okay. you. I have, I have the text messages I believe and everything. You, I believe that you're convinced of what you're saying, put it that way. I don't know whether you, what you're saying is true. I have text messages from Russell, call it saying I have AIDS. I have statements from my mother. Sir, did you have and a text? And I have my yes, results. Sir. Judge I have Mathis, my I just results. told me none of that was true. No, I, I, she, I text messaged no, her. But I asked you a minute ago and you said none of it was I true. I thought when she was talking about my wife. Yeah, yes, so that I is did, defamation Judge unless and you can prove it. I have something to come right back, Judge Mathis, mm -hmm. with all my information. Mm -hmm. I have letters from my children. I have text messages that she responded Saying to that me she with. has AIDS? I have text messages that she said it, that Judge said, Mathis. Says she, she has AIDS? Yes, sir. She said, I have AIDS. She says, let's see it. You read it. Right. No, you read it. Read it. What she said, okay. what she says, I, I have AIDS. Okay. okay. Here's what she said to me. And also, all the, the texts, that's not it. Hold on. Mm -hmm. I got it, Judge Mathis. Take I honestly time. have it. 
Can I, I have can it. I help him with it? Yes, please, because my wife is the one who's done all this. You can show it to him. I might be a little nervous, but I'm telling you. She's going to show it to you. I had to call the police. Your case is based on defamation, saying that he defamed you by telling parties that you are uh, afflicted with AIDS. Ma'am? Okay, it started with uh, several text messages. I just want to hear the part where she says says, she has AIDS. She said, I don't care what you do and kiss my infected and that's that and goodbye. Ma'am? No, he said that I had AIDS. So I said, if you, they raised some of the stuff. I said, if you could keep saying that I have AIDS and thinking that I'm so infected. So all of the text messages Mm -hmm. that it started from her that Mm -hmm. night on June 28th. Sir, where do you, uh, on June 28th. Where do you get your, that's enough, man. Thank you. Where do you get your information to suggest that she had AIDS? Where do you Um, get that? I have a brother, uh, my oldest, uh, he's above me. Uh, my wife took care of him for the f- last four years of, of his life. She was his payee because he died from AIDS. Yes, sir. Is that what you said? Cynthia had kicked him and out. That was her husband. Yes, sir. Okay. And she had put him out, so he couldn't stay there. I also have a, st- a letter stated from my sister from Roosevelt University, where my brother frequently went to the house to stay with her mm-hmm. because as my brother started to, you know, deteriorate, mm-hmm. she didn't want to be bothered. She right. didn't want him right. around. Let's her stick family. with where we're at. We're yeah. at the okay. fact that you believe because your brother died of AIDS that she has it. And and is I, that where your belief came from? And my from? belief comes from that Judge Vassis because there are several people that my brother has been around, even as far as someone in Fort Wayne who was very mm-hmm. close to him is now taking this same okay, kind. Okay, that's them. Right, yes, yes, uh-huh. that's them. That's them, yes. People can have sex with folks that have HIV and not be infected. You do know I that, I agree right? with you. More. I have text messages that she responded Saying to that me. Saying she with. has AIDS? I have text messages that she said it, Judge Mathis. Says she, she has AIDS? Yes, sir. She said, I have AIDS. She says, Let's see it. You read it. Right. No, you read it. Read it. What she said. Okay. What she says, okay. I have AIDS. Okay. Plaintiff Cynthia Davis was married to the defendant's brother, and she's suing because she claims the defendant has been spreading rumors that she has AIDS. Sir? She also stated that. I get tested every year. Every year, she stated. I get tested every year. And that is one of the reasons why she said, you can kiss my infected, you know what? Because she knows. She understands, Judge Mathis. You say what? She's, when you say she told you she gets tested every, every year. year. Saying that to say what? In other words, to say to me that she's not infected, well, that's what she's saying. Okay. Okay, and, and that's true, Judge Thank Mathis. Thank you. Now you're saying that she's suggesting that she wasn't infected. But yet, in that text, she does tell me yeah, to kiss her, her explanation infected. for that is that you kept saying it, so she's saying, okay, since you think that, then yeah, kiss it. Right. <laughs> exactly. But... You acknowledge that consistently she has denied it because obviously if she has to deny it consistently, that means you're alleging it consistently. And this one time that she said, fine, if you keep saying I have it, then you kiss this infection. Well, Judge Matthew, then that sounds like a person who is tired of being accused by you well, and just says, yeah, fine, whatever you want to right. think, kiss it. Well, Judge Matthews, <laughs> I honestly, well, actually, I honestly I said wish. More that, but I'm not going to Judge Mathis, I honestly wish that my wife had obtained any documents she could for when my brother came to Fort Wayne, Indiana, because he was in a nursing home with full blown AIDS. And on What's top that of that, to do with her, sir, what's that have to do with her having it? Because That's what you're being sued for, uh, alleging and, that she had it. And Judge Mathis, God can't, bless your brother and his soul, but right. And Judge Mathis, can I really go back to the beginning of this? This all started from her. Uh, my, my son trying to straighten his marriage out with his wife and she telling his wife that my wife has never liked her or cared for her mm-hmm. and in these text mm-hmm. messages save my- the gossip sir what did you want to present you um, have letters there. from my mother I had to call the police because this man would not stop texting my phone and calling my mother Let's see that. and she That's kept your telling harassment. Me, yes, right. plus I have do- papers from my doctor showing that I had to come in from stress and depression to see him and I, up there, you do have my uh, re- HIV test results. The last page is the results. This is as of 8-11. Yes. When did your uh, husband, your deceased 06. husband, he died and, in 06. Yes, he died of and, John Hopkins disease. He you died in 08. 
AIDS. He didn't even die of AIDS. No, he did not. That's my and brother. And before, why he was sick, he it's was telling. Brother, this is his wife. Well, I wish my mother about? was here, Jerry. You were, we all man, let me be my quiet. Okay. Me she would passed. know more than you about her husband. I promise you. <laughs> Judge Marathas, I have something here I want you to read. That I, no, I'm not reading anything. You tell me what it is. Okay. All right. Oh, and I have some findings. Chief, my wife did have to find a judgment. I oh, might be a little nervous. Point it to him. Okay. 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 Here's a here's a, a private message. From who? From her. To from who? her. To to my wife's mm -hmm. Facebook. Okay. Uh -huh. And right here she states that uh, believe and I talk about uh, his AIDS cause Clyde died from that. Tell him. Well, I don't want to. Ma'am, did you put that on? No, Facebook? I did not. You want to? Judge Mathis, when we, please when take a look at it. When my first got sick, mm -hmm. we, that's, whatever we the case, were tested sir, for all Whatever that. the case, today she is suing you for defamation, alleging that you are telling people, and you admit and you have, haven't. you said it here today, that you believe she was infected by AIDS from your brother. You even claim she admitted it. You showed me evidence, which I have discounted because I believe she admitted it being facetious because you have been harassing and making those allegations against her for so long. She provides me with a test that proves she is negative for AIDS. So you have defamed her character by telling something that is untrue to third parties to harm her reputation. That is the definition of defamation and you've committed it. Now I'll grant you your judgment, $1,500. Judgment for the plaintiff. Have a Thank good day. You. Thank you. thing in the world to ever be with and to even trash his brother and me. Okay. So he's worthless. My husband is not, well, did not die from that and I'm, I don't have anything. And he bogus to say that about his brother anyway. He's supposed to be a grown man. He didn't die for that. They didn't help him when he was dying. So. But he yet tells us family should stick together, but this is how he treats and, and do his family.